Hello, my name is Jeannie Kirkpatrick, and I'm reapplying to be a South Dakota Humanities Speaker Bureau Scholar and Book Club to Go Discussion Leader. I had the great privilege in 2019 to be a South Dakota Humanities Council Speaker Scholar. My topics that I discussed in 2019 were aprons, can they talk, and I believe they can. They tell a lot about who owned them, what they were used for, how tall, wide, skinny, or fat the person who was that owned them. They told us if they were a hostess apron, fancy attire, so to say, or if they were a work apron. Were they well worn? Were they well loved? and where they pass down from generation to generation. During this discussion, I invite the audience members to bring their aprons and their stories to share with the rest of us. 2020, I can't believe it's already here. And that seems like a long way from 1870. In 1870, on the plains of Kansas, Carrie Ingalls was born, yes, Carrie, from Little House on the Prairie, was born in 1870. Carrie, in 1911, would find her way to the Black Hills and make her home in Keystone, South Dakota. Now, Carrie lived in Keystone from 1911 to 1946. So, yes, there is an Ingalls in the Black Hills. And that's one of my other discussion Topics, Carrie Ingle Swansea and Ingalls in the Black Hills. And this year is her 150th birthday. I had the great honor to be the museum director, former museum director at the Keystone Historical Museum, which started out because of Carrie Ingle Swansea and her artifacts. In 2015, I had the great honor to work for the National Park Service for a few years and become the women's historian at Mount Rushmore National Memorial. And that's where my next topic, discussion topic, is coming from. Yes, there was more workers at Mount Rushmore than just men. Women workers at Mount Rushmore during the carving years, 1927 to 1941, is another discussion topic that I have. Now, these women did jobs differently than the men. Their pay was different, as well as how they were treated, how long they lasted, and all what they did. Now, if you find any of these topics interesting, I would love to come to your city and put on a discussion. I'm very flexible and can do anything from a PowerPoint to just a discussion, roundtable discussion. I want to thank you for your time and have a great day.